and welcome to our Lakers Open Water Swim question um, and answer. And this has been brought to you through an, initi an initiative of Women for Try. I'd like to introduce you to Verity Peach, who is one of our Lakers Open Water Swim coaches, and she's going to be answering some questions for us today. Good evening, everyone. So, Verity, straight off, um, top five things. Uh, that we can do when we feel a panic attack is creeping up on us in an open water swim, whether it's in a race or in a training session. It's very easy for people to have panic attacks, especially if you're not used to swimming in open water settings, whether it's a lake or at the beach. Um, and if you're starting a race and you're new to triathlons, it can be another panicky thing because people are kicking and splashing at the start of an event. So there are a few easy things that you can do. One is um, a little bit of breaststroke. That might help you relax, take a few deep breaths. Um, some floating or floating on your back and just deep breathing. Um, another thing is to wave your arms around so that one of the lifeguards can see you and that might buy you a few seconds to relax. Um, you can hold on to a buoy. If you're near a buoy in a race or in an open water setting where there are buoys as markers, if you swim over to a buoy and grab hold. And another one is to swim over to a lifeguard and hang on to their board for a bit because that might um, help as well. You might not want to continue swimming or you might want to keep going, but that just might give you a chance for a breather. Awesome, thank you. Um, swimming in a straight line in an open water swim, how do we do that? Well, there's no line, and if you're swimming somewhere like a lake, it can be a bit murky. So the main thing to do is, is sighting, is find something that you can see, whether it's a buoy or whether it's a house or a tree, and aim for that tree or that house or something on the other side of the lake that's big so that you can see it above the water and so that it's elevated. So you know where you're going. Um, and to breathe bilaterally. Breathing bilaterally helps, um, especially if you're swimming and um, there are waves so that you don't get struck by the waves each time you turn your head to the left or right. So breathing bilaterally, bilaterally will give, give you a bit of balance as well. And to learn how to do that, sorry, this is just throwing this one out there, but is that a drill that you do in a, in a swimming pool or is that something that people automatically start doing? No, most people learn to swim by breathing on their favoured side. So if you're a child or you have a child, you'll notice that they tend to breathe just on one side. Breathing bilaterally takes a little bit of time and, and patience and practice. The best way to do it is just to breathe every third stroke on each side so that you've got an uneven stroke but you're practicing turning your head and you'll find that when you sight when you're in an open water setting that you'll lift your head naturally up to the left or up to the right so bilaterally helps because it means that you can swim in better conditions and, and swim to the waves or swim to the, the way that there's no sun um, it, it's a really good way to learn to swim with balance now, if somebody doesn't have an open water um, swimming area to train in, can they just train in a swimming pool for, for an open water race? Of course you can. Um, not everyone's blessed with living near the beach or a lake or a dam. Um, and swimming in a pool can be a bit boring, but there are a couple of ways around it. You can do a lot of drills, um, such as water polo drills, where you're swimming with your head above the water. You can do sighting drills in a pool, where you're looking at something that's elevated, so that when you're swimming, you're lifting your head every three to five strokes at a clock, at some bags, um, at a grandstand. Pick something that's in the distance and aim for that. Um, there are a couple of drills that you can do to simulate swimming with a crowd in open water. That could be starting with a person beside you and jostling each other down the lane. It can be four or five people in the lane where you're trying to pass each other. Um, and there are ways that you can simulate a little bit of argy-bargy because it's going to be like that in a race. And that's simulating more so what open water swimming and racing is going to be like rather than just swimming up and down. Beautiful, thank you. Any tips on any of our beginner ladies that you can, because I know you've got experience in this, so anything that you can share? Patience. Um, patience, breathing, make sure you're relaxed and just get used to the idea that you might not be able to see the bottom but you can still be safe in an open water setting. If you're doing your first, second, third, fourth, fifth race and you're still not that confident, don't start at the front in a wave, especially if it's a beach start because people will push you and they'll swim over the top of you. Start to the side, start at the back, a couple of seconds isn't going to make any difference at all. So. Um, relax, 
try and take a few deep breaths. Start at the back, start to the side, um, and just practice sighting. Sighting is essential because if you get lost in a swim or you can't see where you're going, you're gonna panic, you're gonna go off course, it's gonna take you longer than you really need to be out there. So pick something that's elevated, something to look for and practice your sighting and bilateral breathing with some of the main things to concentrate on. Beautiful. Thanks, Verity.